Back in June, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle released Lilibet's first birthday photo at Frogmore Cottage on June the 4th, during their visit to Britain for the Platinum Jubilee. Many people have pointed out that the picture wasn't taken at Frogmore Cottage, as it's being claimed that Frogmore Cottage has a higher roof than the place in the photo's background. Jenny.au on Cora commented, We all know it's not taken at Frogmore Cottage because there are no 1950s designed bar heaters in the renovated outbuilding in the Windsor Estate. The footage was also shared to Twitter in December 2021. Not sure about why the Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to include this old imagery in with the portrait of Lilibet, because in doing so, it takes away any credibility away from the authenticity of the child's identity as the actual daughter of the couple. Added to the conspiracy is the conflicting dates of their departure back to California. The tabloids, who obviously received their information from the controversial duo, then made headlines on the Seventh Estate, stating, They celebrated the child's birthday with famous guests and royal family children, although they snubbed by the Cambridge on Saturday the 4th and stayed over at Windsor Castle to watch the concert with the Queen, before flying out on Sunday. In the meantime, it was all over social media that the couple, with or without kids, were bundled into a private jet and shipped off on Saturday, following loud disagreements with senior family. In short, they learnt in a hurry who the boss is. Also, royal fans suspect that Lilibet is Jessica Mulroney's youngest daughter because they look very alike. At that time, there were comments from people who said the kids weren't present in the UK, as no kids were seen leaving on the plane in the US or the UK. Recently, it's been claimed that some members of the royal family found it rather presumptuous when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry called their child Lilibet after the Queen's nickname. Giles Brandreth wrote in his upcoming book, Elizabeth, An Intimate Portrait, that the family thought the name choice was bewildering and couldn't understand why the Sussexes thought it was a good choice for their daughter. However, according to the biography, the Queen both approved of and loved the name Lilibet, reportedly saying it was very pretty and seemed just right. Lilibet was the pet name for her late Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Whilst the nickname was well known, it was only used by very few people outside of her immediate family. Branriff claims that Harry sought his grandmother's permission to use a nickname for her 11th great-grandchild, rather than go behind her back. This was reportedly an open discussion. Branriff also mentioned that the Queen's recollection was actually a little bit different. Apparently, Harry told her that the couple wanted to call the baby Lilibet in her honour, and she accepted their choice graciously, taking it as a compliment as it was intended. However, other members of the family didn't quite see it that way, according to the author. They called it presumptuous, suggesting it could be to get back in the good books after leaving the royal family and doing the bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. He wrote, Others in the family found the choice bewildering and rather presumptuous, given that Lilibet as a name had always been intimately and exclusively the Queen's. After the naming, however, the Queen heard they were nicknaming the new arrival Lily, which she thought was just right. Brandreth also claimed the Queen did everything possible to welcome the Duchess of Sussex into the family. He claimed she was devoted to Harry and truly wished the couple well on their decision to live a new life abroad. The royal biographer says that he never heard any disapproval of Meghan mentioned by the Queen and that the only concern she let slip was to wonder if Harry was perhaps a little over in love.